Mm. And then I focus on storage the other days of the week. Fortunately, those other businesses really don't require a lot of time. So that's one of the reasons I love those businesses is because there's a lot of joint fulfillment and it doesn't demand a lot of my time. It's somewhat scalable to a certain degree. You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. So to give you some practical things, one of the things I learned over a decade ago was the idea of, I think it's called the Pomodoro technique. I think that's the right word, but it's basically the concept of working in sprints. So I like to focus and work for 60 minutes on, take a five to 15 minute break, circle back for another 60 minutes, take a 30 minute break, right? Mm -hmm. So the idea of working in sprints versus a marathon Mm -hmm. really helps and it avoids you feeling that crash in the afternoon. But yeah, man, I had to get to the point where, in Mm -hmm. fact, John, I remember last year you and I talking about it, where now I only record podcast episodes on a certain day of the week. I only do coaching calls on a certain day of the week. Mm -hmm. And then I focus on storage the other days of the week. Fortunately, those other businesses really don't require a lot of time So that's one of the reasons I love those businesses is because there's a lot of joint fulfillment and it doesn't demand a lot of my time. It's somewhat scalable to a certain Mm -hmm. degree. But yeah, man, working in sprints, time blocking has been really, really helpful. And then, yeah, anything that doesn't fit within those boundaries, obviously there's only 24 hours in a day of which I'm not willing to work, you know, that many hours. I'm willing to work X amount of hours. If I find myself with a lack of bandwidth or capacity, I ask myself what has to get cut, right? Mm -hmm. To give you an even better answer, the book, Who Not How, which I finished a month or two ago by Dan Sullivan and Benjamin Hardy, is a phenomenal book. Mm. It's, it's all about having the right people on your team and also having systems. So one of the questions that I've shared with people, and I've shared this on the podcast that I think will help others, is I always ask myself one of four questions. Can I outsource what I'm doing? Can I automate it? Can I delegate it? Or can I delete it? Usually the answer falls into one of those buckets. And then I'm, I'm super clear on like, what am I good at and what do I enjoy? So if you think of like a Venn diagram, there's that sweet spot in the middle. Uh, the thing that you're good at, the thing that the world needs, i.e. where you can uh, solve a problem or a solution, and the thing that's highly profitable. And you wanna try to focus on that sweet spot. One last thing before you go, if you have been listening to the show for a while and or you have been getting value from the show, I would be 100% honored if you would share this show with a friend or maybe share it with somebody that you think could benefit from this. It's my mission, it's my cause, it's my purpose through Flip Empire to impact and touch people's lives, to help people and in their businesses. So it would be an honor if you would be willing to share this episode. And uh, one last thing, make sure that you're subscribed so that you get notified every Monday and Thursday when shows get released. I look forward to connecting with you on the next one. Until then, 